good. But I have to tell you, like, you know, of course, I saw you in Straight Outta Company. Yeah. You just you look so different. Is it the curl? Uh, yeah, you're, you miss the jerry curl, don't you? I yeah, mean, that's yeah. a. That's... I actually kept it. I got it at home in the drawer. <laughs> just in case life ever goes south, you know, I can always <laughs> pick it back up where I left off. You can start doing an easy e tour, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing really good, man. I'm it's doing very really good, good to have you here. Man, it's good to be here. This is like a milestone for my career. You know what I mean? Is, like, it, a, is it a milestone? In what way? Yeah, like some people want to work with people. You know, some people want to work with Denzel. I just wanted to be on Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, oh that's nice. But he's just saying, I can give you a little bit of career advice. Yeah. Still try to get the Denzel thing going. That yeah, yeah, right. you know, I can't count that up. I can't count that <laughs> when, up. When you were in that movie, Straight Outta Compton, yeah. Dr. Dre and Ice Cube were the producers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how much producing did they do? You know, Dre was there every day. Really? Yeah, he was there every day. And Cube was kind of there every day because he was shooting right along, too, with Kevin Hart. Great movie. But he was, you know, shooting while we first started. So he was working at that time, right? Right. Gotcha. But he also had a guy, like, working for him with him on an iPad. So every now and then, you just turn around and there'd be, like, Cube floating right there on the side <laughs> of the So, yeah, he was there every day. He was oh, there every day. Yeah. Wow, that's, pretty, that's something. <laughs> I, and, so, and so did they... Like, did you feel like, oh, these guys are running this show? And, and I mean, like, I work for... Like Dr. Dre, I imagine Dr. Dre would be a weird boss to have. You know, it was it was nerve wracking at first. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, not everybody you hang with on a, on a regular has like a two thousand dollar watch. I mean, two hundred thousand dollar watch on. I'm sorry, and just yeah. chills. You know what I mean? But he's a they're they're such good guys. You did know, you and they spend so... time with him socially. I actually did. You know, I was at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles one day, and um, I'm there with my mom <laughs> and my stepdad, and. This is a beloved restaurant in L.A., just oh, for, yeah, people yeah, yeah. Just for people who don't know. For people who don't know. Roscoe's Chicken and You got to try it, right? Yeah. So, so we're there having our great L.A. experience in Hollywood. And I'm there eating my Obama special, you know? <laughs> and my phone starts ringing, you know what I mean? And my mom's like, it's Dre. So I'm, like, trying to, you know, lick my fingers. And she's like... So everybody's, like, whispering. They're like, Dre's calling, Dre's calling, right? <laughs> So I pick up the phone, and he's like, where are you? I'm like, Roscoe's. And he's like, did you drive? I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, good. I'm going to send a car to come and get you. So I'm like, okay. So I hang up the phone and I'm like just staring at my parents. And um, <laughs> they're like, so what did he say? I'm like, he's gonna send a car to come get us. Like, I don't know where we're going, right? <laughs> yeah, so, in the old days, that meant a bat. That was not good. <laughs> right? You're gonna make me sleep with the fish. Dre sending right? a car to come get you. Yeah, you're in trouble. Right. Yeah. So he, he takes us to this amazing house in the hills that he had just bought from Giselle and Tom Brady, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, and the house has, like, all kind of Belgian wood and, like, a moat with, like, coral fish. I'm like, what? where are we? Like, what do you mean a moat? <laughs> like, a legit moat. Like, like there's this, like the a drawbridge? Like, around the house with a drawbridge, everything, legit moat. I'm like, this is fly. Like, <laughs> this is crazy, right? So he's like, yeah, if wow. you're not doing nothing later, like, uh, we can go to Jimmy's house. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing something that's more important than go to Jimmy Iovine's house, right? So, um... They pick us up later on. Your parents, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, wow. we go to Jimmy Iovine's house, and I get out, and there's a guy there in a polo shirt. And I'm like, hi. And he's like, right this way. And I'm like, I thought he was Jimmy, you know? Uh -huh. So I get to the next guy, and he's like, right this way. I'm like, where's Jimmy? You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know people had people legit working in their house. A like staff, this. yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Like, this is crazy. So as I'm walking down the hallway, I heard my voice for the first time, like, because they were listening. Like, they were still editing straight out of Compton. And I could hear my voice. And I just started crying. My mom was like, what's wrong? I was like, that's my voice. That's my voice. So we get into the room, and Dre is just, like, cracking up laughing. He was like, see, I told you we was going to get him. He's a big softie. I told you we was going to get him. <laughs> and it was, it, was, it was just, like, the best experience That was the life. first bit of footage you saw from the movie, yeah. right there in front of those guys. Right. Wow, how crazy. about that? That's, like, that's so great. Was that the first, like, big movie you'd, you'd been in? Um, actually, the first big movie I did was, was Contraband. And I was still living in New Orleans at the time. And shout out to Mark Wahlberg. Oh, Real the Mark Wahlberg dude. movie, right. Yeah, Yeah, okay. yeah. But, um, see, I, I had a little situation, right? Like, this was supposed to be the first international movie open. OK. And um, they, they did a, a premiere in France, which was super, super, super dope. And I was super excited about it. Yeah. But, um. I ended up going to jail for something so stupid. You know what I mean? And I was like... When the premiere was happening? Yes. So oh, I'm watching no. it on TV, like, what am I doing? Uh, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm telling people, I'm like, I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be at this premiere. You they're mean like, in jail you're telling the people? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like, you ain't no actor. <laughs> like, actors don't go to jail. Oh. Look at me now. I'm on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Do you think still in there? <laughs> right? Exactly. Do you think those guys are still in? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not, guys. I'm praying for you. Wow, that's a hell of a way to, to open a movie. <laughs> right? That just sucks. So this movie, Superfly, you know, when I was a kid, Superfly, that was a big thing. Yeah, yeah. You were even aware of, like, the Superfly phenomenon? I actually really was, but my dad, like, pushed it onto me. You yeah. know what I mean? He was like, look, you'll understand this later in life. I'm just like, all right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But, um... It was crazy because the last film I went to see my dad, my dad passed when I was 15. Oh, wow. And the last movie I went to see with my dad was The Matrix. And Joe Silver produced The Matrix. Mm -hmm. And my dad, like, pushed this movie on me, you know what I mean? So it was very, like, He's the nostalgic. producer of this movie as well. Yeah. I see. Yeah, so it was very, very, like, nostalgic for me and just real satisfying, you know? I know my dad's, like, he's up there looking down on me and smiling right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, every dad would be proud of his son being in Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no question about that. For sure. So, who do you play in Superfly? I play Eddie. Eddie, okay. Yeah, I'm so a better was... looking version. <laughs> but I do play Eddie. <laughs> Eddie is like what the like business partner, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, every good every good superhero needs a sidekick, sort of. You know what uh -huh. I mean? So he's sort of the guy there that's just super loyal to Priest, who's the main character. Shout out to Trevor Jackson. He did a great job. But yeah, he um yeah yeah clap it up for him. Jackson, yeah. clap it up for him. Yeah. It's nice of you to clap, but you haven't seen the movie yet. Let's be honest. <laughs> and there's no chance you're going to miss the premiere of this one, right? They're no, not do no, no weird. chance. I'll be there. I'll be okay, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to miss two, because they're right. really not going to believe it this time if you're right, in there. Exactly. No, I was easy. -E. Where's your hair? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Congratulations. Thank it's you, great man. to have you here. Jason Mitchell, everybody. <laughs> Superfly opens June 13th. I am Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.